Yeah. She posted some videos of Franklin Perez. How's he look? Oh, he's striking out. He's striking everybody out in the video. I got it. some nasty. It looks like some nasty uh, sliders or cutters. They usually probably don't send out the videos exactly. where he's getting shelled, right? E- exactly. Getting whiplash from turning and looking left field. Yes. Our telephone number is two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Nine seven one three six on the ticket text, and uh, or Justin Verlander was traded late last night, as most of you probably do know by now. For Franklin Perez, Daz Cameron, and Jake Rogers, three pretty good prospects from the Houston Astros. Justin Upton was also traded yesterday, so it, it dawned on me because I remember when uh, Ben Wallace left the Pistons. My daughter was something like I don't know, like six or seven years old. I don't remember exactly. And I had to tell her, and Ben Wallace was her favorite. She wanted to marry Ben Wallace. Uh, and she was just like, and I prepared her because it was, you know, free agency started. I said, well, you know, this might happen. Of course, kids at that age, they have no idea. You're <laughs> trying to tell her about free agency. <laughs> yeah. So, and she was just <laughs> devastated. So we wonder if you had to tell your kids uh, today about Justin Verlander being traded. Or when was that, when did it happen to you? When your favorite was traded, left free agency, or something happened where you just were devastated i'm just picturing you trying to tell your child hey you know what ben might want to take more money somewhere else honey <laughs> exactly uh let's go to uh, matt and warren you're 97 on the ticket hey gentlemen hey hey my my tiger was steve kemp when he when he got traded it crushed me but the other day when um when justin upton got traded yesterday Yesterday, my daughter called me at work, and we just bought her a cell phone two days ago, and she's 11. And I thought someone died. I thought her hamster <laughs> died or my wife was dead somewhere. <laughs> and she could not breathe. She could hardly talk. <laughs> and it was because Justin Upton got traded. Hey, now, Matt. Now, now, did she know before he was just, she called you for that reason or you told her? No, she called me for that reason. That's awesome. And I got home, and she cried for another hour. <laughs> I hope my daughter likes sports that much. Justin Upton. Wow, that's great. Now, by the way, on a side note, classy move by him for telling the Tigers he was going to opt out. Without a doubt, because they got something for him. Right. I, on a separate note, too, stay off Twitter if you're that guy's daughter. Because on Twitter, he changed his profile pic to wearing an Angels hat. And Justin Verlander even said too soon, and then yeah. it was a broken heart right. next to it before he got traded. I know. Uh, oh, on, the ticket, on the ticket text, 97136, I'm from Waterford. I'm 52. I was really bummed when Gibby left. But he came back. Okay, but, it, but at the time. Uh, Sue broke my heart. Knew it was coming, but I love watching that a-hole play football. <laughs> I'm 25, so this one hurts. Calvin hurt too. Datsuk hurt too. My three favorite Detroit th- athletes growing up are gone. Pat and Royal Oak. Federer was the guy who left. I never got over. I still won't attend Wings games till they retire. Ninety-one. Good luck, JV. Thanks for the memories. When's that happening? That's got to be. It's got to be this year. This year at the LCA, right? It has to. Um, Matt from Waterford says Barry Sanders. I'm still not over it. it. Makes me angry. He should have broke the rushing record, and it would probably still stand today. Yeah, that was Barry's fault, though. Yeah, kind exactly. of the Lions' fault too, though. No doubt. Uh, let's talk to uh, Renee. You're 97 on the ticket. Gary? No, this is Renee. Hi, I said, guys. I, I said Renee. Hey, Renee. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Hey, Jeff, how are you? You're so cool. I have oh, to wow. say that you're I You're the only person that crying. thinks that. No, no, no. I'm not the only person. See, you're wrong. I have to say that I'm absolutely crushed when Chris Spielman left the, the Lions. I mean, I was a season holder. I actually broke down in tears and wrote a letter to the Lions telling them that they made the biggest mistake in the world. But kind of ironic that he's come back now and being a... Um, Announcer. announcer on the thing. So it, it's not a bad thing. Plus, I got to meet him once down at ESPN. Um, so it was cool. But I have to say that it was a very sad day. A lot of people Thanks, have broken up. You still see Chris Spielman jerseys uh, at Ford Field. Uh, he was a legend. Do you remember, Stoney, what he used to do on the field? Oh, yeah. He used to walk around and picture like people tormenting his family. And that's how he got psyched up. To play linebacker. Dude played with the torn pack for like he, six games. He used to drive around like up and down I-75 when it was like 95 degrees out with the windows up and no air conditioning. Just to like get psyched up. Seriously? So, yeah, just to, ah, t- just to test beast. himself. What a beaut. Uh, Dan in Detroit, you're a 97 on the ticket. How's it going, guys? Good, hey, Dan. Dan. How are you? Good. 
I'm only 23, but I'm a sports historian. And for me, when Rodman left, that was as bad as KD joining the Warriors, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I wanted to bring up the Tigers again real quick and get Please you guys' do. thoughts. Um, I'm glad you guys played that little clip of Justin Verlander in Game 5 versus the A's because I believe that next series when we got just smashed by the Red Sox, that was a decision point for the Tigers. They could either they had good, good pieces in place at that point. They could either go out and get a couple more good pieces and have them click with the system or rebuild completely like they've done. Personally, they, they, Dan, I'm sorry. They, they did, though. They did. If you remember the next year, they went out and got David Price and traded Austin Jackson and Drew Smiley. And, you know, David Price was the best left-hander on the market. And if you remember on that same day, Dan, trade deadline 2014. John we Lester went to Oakland. Yeah, for Cespedes. You know, right. Cespedes goes to right. Boston. So they went for it. They did what you said. It just didn't work. They barely won the division. I think after 2014, they should have been able to see the writing on the wall, but right. they didn't. That's when, when, they, when Sh- that and- was the issue, though, is that they made poor choices in who they decided to retool with. I think that they should have gotten people like, uh, uh, the, who was on the market at that time? There was uh, Scuba Cabrera, Melky Cabrera, like you said, Lester, Andrew Miller, by Nelson the way. Cruz was on the market. They should have gone for more of those guys. The pitching staff, for all intents and purposes, was fine. They just got their tails handed to them by a better team in the Red Sox. That was fine. They should have focused more on the people who could slug for you, who could get on base, maybe steal a base, and deliver the runs. That was the issue they, in the they, ALCS. You know, they, they couldn't get any runs. Against ball, well, you, mean, you mean against Baltimore the following year? No, I mean against the Red Sox because okay. we moved on again into the ALCS right. against the Red Sox. Right, I understand that, but after they lose to the Red Sox, what do you want them to do? I mean, they like like Jeff mentioned at the deadline in fourteen, they they got David Price. Yeah, you mentioned Nelson Cruz, not to, um, to compare, but if they would have got Nelson Cruz, you would never had JD Martinez here. I do like Nelson Cruz. Just saying, I, I, I do too. Tiger killer. No, but Stoney, I mean, think about it for a second. Like, like the one bad thing is they never really found a way to, to 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 make the bullpen better. Correct. That, that was the one big thing. And, you know, say whatever you want. They should have won that series against the Red Sox, without a doubt, in 2013. Ortiz hit the grand slam. We talked about game three. Verlander goes nine but gives up the solo jack. They score no runs. Game six, I believe it was the flying Hawaiian that hit the grand slam off Jose Veras. So it was just, I don't want to say bad luck, but that, that was the killer. Yeah. That, that, that was it. And you know what? I don't think they did anything wrong. I just think they were extremely unlucky and not just good enough, unfortunately. Let's talk to uh, Rich in Port Huron. You're 97 won the ticket. Oh, man. I was crushed when Granderson got traded. Oh, my I wife go. My wife was too. She loved him. So was my mother. <laughs> I uh, went and got his, a jersey of his two days before that, and I was, oh, my goodness. Did you get over it? Oh, I'm just not over it yet. You want him back, don't so, you, Rich? So do, do, you want, do you want the Dodgers to win the World Series because of Curtis Granderson? No, absolutely not. So who do you want to win the World Series then? Oh, uh, I'm a diehard Tigers fan, so it's hard to pick anybody else. But uh, let's go with Houston now, I guess. All right, so you like Justin Verlander and Cameron Maben, also an Astro, better than yep. Curtis Granderson. There you go. See, I thought you, lo- I thought you liked Curtis Granderson. Now he's rooting against them in the I mean, World They got the Scherzer World in that deal, though, didn't they? The Tigers, yes. Yeah, so I mean, it was a good deal at the time. I know, absolutely. You know, Austin Jackson turned out to be a good player too, playing for Cleveland. You know, Stoney, I keep going back to one thing you said, and that guy kind of like reiterated, jarred my memory. Like you brought it up, like way back at six o'clock. Could you imagine if Scherzer goes against Verlander, okay. Game Seven, the World Series? Oh my lord! Who, who do you think Detroit's cheering for? JV, who I don't think liked Max, or Max, who left. Because Mr. Wright wouldn't pay him the money he wanted. I think, I think most of Det- most of Detroit's cheering for Verlander. It's not even close. Yeah, I would hear longer. Even though I'm cheering for JD and Rodney in Arizona, mark my words, they're going to win the World Series. On the uh, ticket text, prepare your kid for a trade. Really, Stony, you're a dope. Is that being a good parent? That way they won't be yeah. completely shocked. I, I mean, it's really the same as death, right? <laughs> Uh, well, what's worse for a kid, going through death or going through their favorite player leaving their team? Uh, you, can, you could argue they're both very, very awful. Let's talk to Al in Rochester. You're 97 on the ticket. 
Hey, guys, thanks for taking my call. Yeah. Hey, uh, um, you know, the thing with JV that is going to be different, now, depending on how old somebody is, they have different ideas of who the greatest of their particular city generation is. I'm 36, so you have, like, Trammell and Whitaker, and then you have, like, Isaiah and Dumars and Lambeer, and then you have the 97, 96 Red Wings with Iserman and Fedorov, and then go to work Pistons. Verlander is the only one of those guys that's ever going to leave without a championship and be in another uniform. And you can't put Barry in that category because it, it probably he would have never won a uh, Super Bowl, but he retired. So you never saw him playing against you. Lomas, and, Lomas won a yeah. Super Bowl. He did. Jeff Hardings did too. <laughs> No, but yeah, Al, you're, you're right. I don't know what year you guys are starting with, though. You no, know? I know, I know, you're that's right. Actually, I'm not being a little facetious. No, that's a really good point, though. You, you are right because the the greats, the the greats that we put on Stoney's Mount Rushmore, right? They they've all won. Isaiah won. Stevie won. Right. Nick won. Sergey won. They've all won. Tram and Lou and won. The, right, Chairman Lou won. Lions never win, so whatever. They're the Lions. But he's right. JB's yes. the one guy that belongs right up there with all the rest that hasn't won. Our telephone number is 248 539 